this is quick revision before we start with our lesson today. We studied this before. The first one is brain, skull, the bone, and the bone which protects your brain and the eyes is called the skull. Ribs is bone. Ribs are bones which protect your lungs and heart. And then you have jaw, in which you have your teeth. Then we have elbow, in which makes your arm move. Knee helps you to move your legs. And all the bones in your body is called the skeleton. Over the skeleton, you have the muscle, which gives you the power to move or stand. We learned that the skull is a bone protected the brain. Ribs protect the heart and lungs. Jaw, it has the teeth. Elbow, it joins the upper and lower arm. Knee, it joins the thigh. Thigh is this part. This part is called the thigh. And the leg. Skeleton, it helps us move. After that, we study that veins. Veins are blood vessels, which carries, uh, bl which carries blood without oxygen. Then we have arteries. Its color is red. It, car it uh, carries blood with oxygen. Heart, it pumps blood, it pumps blood. Lungs, it controls the air in your body. It controls the air in your body. Veins carry blood without oxygen. Arteries carry blood with oxygen. Heart pushes the blood around the body or pumps, pushes or pumps. Lungs, they control air in the body. Brain, it controls everything in the body. Blood, it carries oxygen and nutrients around your body. Nutrients, they help us grow. The food outside your body is called the food. Inside your body, it is called the nutrients. Then we studied about the skin. Skin has three parts, top skin, middle skin, bottom skin, or top layer, bottom, middle layer, bottom layer. Skin protects my body. Skin, it is outside my body, top skin. Middle skin, it has veins and arteries. Bottom skin, it connects my bones and muscles. Let me share the book with you to study our lesson today. This is connected plus. This is our lesson today, students. We are going to learn the meaning of, of these words. Hydrated, 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 dehydrated, dehydrated. Page 33 yet. Joints, joints, toxins, toxins, temperature, temperature, sweat, sweat. This lesson is telling us about water. Water is important for our life, not only us,
but it is also important for animals. As you see, the camel is an animal. It needs water to live. It is also important for plants. Look at these palm trees. They also drink water, but they don't drink water with mouth like us. They drink water with roots. Roots are the parts of plants which are under the ground by which they can absorb water. So, water is important for all living things. All living things means the people, animals, the plants, insects, everything that eat, live, and the grow is called a living thing. Okay, then we have human. Human means man, woman, and the children. Not animals, not insects, not birds. Okay. We will learn also that our body, our body has a lot of water. Our blood has 82% of water. 82% of our blood is water. Water helps our blood to carry oxygen and the nutrients around the body. We will learn also that our brain has 75% water. 75% of our brain is water. We will learn also that water helps us not only to eat and grow, it helps us also to get rid of toxins. Get rid of means throw away. Toxins means bad things that make us ill. Let's read that in the, in the lesson. Follow with your eyes. Why do we need water? All living things need water. Animals and humans drink water. Plants get it from the soil and the roots. We all know water is good for us, but do you know how important it is for our health? Our blood is about 82% water. Blood carries oxygen and nutrients around the body. around the body we eat food and it breaks down into nutrients in our stomach water helps with this and it also helps carry the nutrients around the body in our blood vessels our brains are made up of about 75 percent water if you drink enough water, your brain works better. If you don't drink enough water, you get dehydrated. You feel tired and you don't have a lot of energy. You can get a headache or find it difficult to think. When you are hydrated, it means you are getting enough water. It's good for your joints, your bones, and your body temperature. Water also helps your body to get rid of toxins from your body, and it helps the other organs in your body to work well. Children should drink about 1.5 liters, liters of water every day. Most of this should be pure water, but we can also get water from other drinks such as milk, tea, and fruit juices, and fruits and vegetables. We should drink more water in hot weather because we lose water when we sweat. Let's go to the exercise, students. So everyone is here today. Let me put that. Okay, everyone is present. Okay. Mustafa Murad? Yes, Mustafa? The first word, please. It is hydrated. Yes. It is uh, done. Number two, please. Yes. Two. Dehydrated. Dehydrated. Yes.
What I can do? You have to think which sentence means the dehydrated. Is it? Oh yes, yes. D yes, C yes. D or F? Yes, yes. Uh, B B B mistake. Dehydrated. Yes, B. yes, that's right. Dehydrated means when your body doesn't get enough water. Yeah. That's right. Yes. The water is very, very. Yusuf Khaled. Okay. We need you to tell us which sentence means giants. Giants are like okay. elbow and the knees. These are giants. D. D. The part of your body that moves. That's right. Thank you. Ahmed Adli. Yes. Toxins. Toxins. Uh, okay. D. The parts of your body that move. No, no, sorry, sorry. Okay, take your time. It's okay. Okay. F. F. Mr. F. F. Things yes. you don't want in your body, they make you ill. That's right. Thank you, Ahmed Adli. Amr Magdi. Amr Magdi. Amr Magdi, I can't hear you. Iyad Muhammad? Yes, my son. Next, please, we need the, the meaning of temperature. C. E, yes, a measurement of how hot or cold you feel. So it means the students, the number which shows how cold or hot you are. If your temperature is 37, you are in a good in a good condition. You are healthy. If you are 38, you have fever. If you are if you are 35, you have a problem. So temperature. C. Malik. Malik Hassan. Yes, Master. Sweat. A. Thank you. A. Thank you. Sweat. A liquid that comes out of your skin when you are hot. Like when you play football, you sweat. There is water comes from your face, your arms, everywhere. This is called the sweat. Mustafa Hani? Yes. Question number one, please. How much of your How blood? How much of our blood is made up of water? You will find the answer here. 
read this. Read. Read these. Our blood is above the 82. Other blood carries oxygen and the nutrients. That's, um, that's, that's, that's enough. That's above. enough. That's enough. Here is the answer in this line. Our blood is about 80% water. The question, how much of our blood is made up of water? What is the answer? That's, that's right. Just 82%. This is the answer. That's enough. 82%. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mazin? Mazin? Yes. Yes. Let us, let us the question, please. How much of our brain is made up of water? You will find the answer here. It's here. Our brain? 75. Thank you. That's right. Close my mic. Yes. Muhammad Basin. Yes. Sorry. What happens if you all dehydrated? Dehydrated. 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 Let's see here. Look. What is this word? Dehydrated. 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 Okay. Look, it's the letter is B, right? Right. Read B. When your body doesn't yes. get yes. any enough water. Read again, please. When you body it's doesn't your, get your, it's your not you when you are your body doesn't get in in you what enough enough your, your. again again when you body doesn't get enough food this is a meaning of dehydrate you are very thirsty you are very thirsty and you don't have enough water in your body this is this is the meaning okay. of okay. Now the question says, what happens if you are dehydrated? Look, it is here. The answer mm. is here. Read this part. Do, don't drink this, enough this, water. This part be this part. You you get dehydrated. You yes. feel tired. This is number one. What happens? Well, if, Feel tired and okay. you don't have. Yes, again, a lot. A lot of angry energy. Energy, yes. you can get a headache. Okay. Uh oh. That's enough. That's enough. Now we have two things that happen when you are dehydrated. What are they? You have just read them. What are they? Headache. Headache. And what else? And the Feel tired and you that, don't that, have. That's it. And you don't have. No. Just the two things are enough. Let me write them. <clears throat> As you said, headache. Headache. I don't. Feel. Don't tired, feel, it don't is, tired. It, it, it is not, it is not don't feel tired. It's feel tired. The answer is very simple. Feel tired. The answer is very, it's very simple. Feel tired and have headache. Have headache. Have headache. That, that's it. Thank you very much.
students, now we learned the importance of water and we learned some important words. Hydrated, it means you have enough water. Dehydrated, it means you don't have enough water. Joints are parts that move in your body, like your knee, your knees, your knee moves, like your elbow, your elbow moves. So we call them joints. Toxins are bad things which you get rid of. You get rid of, like when you go to the be to the bathroom, you get rid of bad things from your body. Temperature is how hot or cold do you feel? How hot or cold do you feel? Sweat is a liquid that comes from your body, but not in the bathroom. No, it comes from from your body when you feel very hot, like when you play football. Now, in this lesson, this is lesson four. In this lesson, we are going to learn about we are going to learn about the amount or quantity or how much food we eat. How much food we eat. You have here a picture, as you see. This is a picture of cereal. Now, look at this part. Let me show you which part that I mean. I mean this part. We are going to study the information in this part. We find this written in the packet of in the packet of Syria. But what is written? These are the words written. The first word is serving. 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 What is the meaning of the word serving? It means how much food you eat. How much food you eat. Or in other words, it means the food inside this packet. The food inside this packet. Is it 30 grams or 40 grams or uh, or 500 grams? This is the meaning of serving. When you read the word serving, Mustafa Murad, the number of page is page 33, page 33. Okay, so when you read the word serving, it means how much food in the bucket. Then, Another word, calories, 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 it means how much energy, how much energy. So if you eat all the food in this packet, you will get this amount of energy. This is means the calories, this means the calories. Sodium, sodium, sodium is a mineral. We can get sodium from salt. So, if you read the word sodium on the bucket, it means how much salt that you will get if you eat all this packet. Enough, enough, enough. It means not more, not less. The good amount, the right amount. Enough means not very much and not very few. Not very much, not very little. Just enough. Enough means the right amount for you, the right food for you. Not very much food, not too less food. Too much, too much. Too much means more than you need. More than you need. Person, person, person. If you see person, it means how much this food gives you of the nutrients how much this food gives you of nutrients 50 percent so 50 percent of the nutrients that you need you can take from this food 10 percent it means 10 percent of the nutrients that you need for your day you get from this cell so you get from this fact let's read this lesson we can look uh, follow with your eyes please students Follow your, with your eyes, please, students. We can look at food packaging to find out what is in our food. The word packaging means, students, the bucket. The word packaging means the bucket. Bucket like carton bucket in which you get cereal, like metal bucket, like cans, 
from which we can drink uh, Pepsi and Cola, it is called the can. Uh, like tin, from which we get the palm and the beans, it is back in, in, uh, it is back in tin. So packaging means the bucket in which we find our food. Okay. Uh, this helps us decide if it is healthy or unhealthy. For example, if we see that there are lots of calories and not a lot of vitamins, we can decide to make a different choice. These are some words you can find on food package. These are the words we find written on the packet. Serving, how much you eat at one time. Calories, the amount of energy in food. Sodium, this is a mineral. We need enough of it, but we shouldn't have too much. The salt we get in food is sodium mixed with other things. We shouldn't eat food with too much salt in. Enough, the right amount too much, more than we need, person. When we see something like 50%, it means that this food gives us 50% or half of the amount of that vitamin or mineral that our body needs every day. This, this information, this information is written on this packet. Serving the size, 30 grams. What does it mean? It means you are going to eat 30 grams of food in this packet. Energy means energy, 115 calories. What does this mean? It means that the power, power that this serving, that this food gives you is 115 calories. Fat, 0 0.4 grams. What does this mean? It means if you all if you eat all of this food, you will get 0 0.5 grams. Carbohydrate, 26 grams. It means that if you eat all of this food, you will get 26 grams of carbohydrates. Sugar, 2.4 grams. Sodium, which means salt, 0 0.3 grams. Fiber, 0 0.6 grams. Protein, 2.1 grams. Vitamin C, 50%. Vitamin D, 50%. So I want to remind you, students, that cereal is food. Cereal is food. But when you eat cereal, it changes. It changes into your body, in your body, into energy, fat, carbohydrate, sugar, sodium, fiber, protein vitamin C and D. What is the one word means energy, fat, and everything? It means the nutrients. So, I just wanted to remind you with this information. Cereal is food, but we eat it, then it changes into nutrients. What are these nutrients? Protein. Carbohydrates, fats, fiber, vitamin, sugar, sodium. So students, cereal is food.
if it is outside your body, it is food. If you eat it, it changes into nutrients. What are the nutrients? Protein, carbohydrates, fat, fiber, vitamin, sugar, sodium. You have to read the information on the package because some food is not good for you. So if you read the information and you find a lot of fat, a lot of sugar, don't eat it. But if you find little fat, little sugar, more protein, more vitamins, you can eat it. It's good for you. 50% means that you get 50% of what you need from vitamin C if you eat it. 50% vitamin D means you get 50% of vitamin D that you need every day if you eat it. Okay, let's move to the exercise. Let me erase this. Amr Magdi. Amr Magdi, I can't hear you. There's a problem with your, with your microphone. What? Now I can hear you. I what to, now? I, I need you to answer the question number one. We measure energy in calories or percent or grams. Look here. Calories. Yes, calories. That's right. You can close your microphone now. Muhammad Samir. Muhammad Samir. Muhammad Samir. Yes, Mister. Number two, please. We. With two, mm. 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 we use with use. use we use we use gram grams two grams. Okay. Omar Mustafa. Yes. Number three. If if we now no. who no. no yes no and who each we need of a nutrient each day we can look. At what bro if we know how much we need of nutrients each day we can look of what percent or this could give us I think this answer is not correct yes let me let me read this I think here we should write percent. Yes, we use person to measure a neutron. Now you can answer. Gram. 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 That's right. Sorry for this mistake, Omar. Lose my mic. Yes, please. So, students, we measure energy in calories. We use person to measure a neutron. If we know how much we need of nutrients each day, we can look at what percent or grams this would give us. Usai? Yes. How much? How many calories does this breakfast cereal have? Look at this. Look at this information, and they tell me how much calories. You can find calories next to energy. Did you find it? No. This is energy. Did you see energy? Yes. How much I energy? One hundred fifteen. One hundred fifteen of what? Calories. Calories. 
and the question says how many calories does this breakfast cereal have what is the answer 115 calories that's right thank you Yasin Ahmed Yasin Ahmed yes. next question please how much fiber does this breakfast cereal have? Yeah. What? How much uh, fiber does this breakfast cereal have? Look here. This is the fiber. The fiber in cereal. Grams. Yes. Yes. Grams. It's 0 0.6 grams. 0 0.6 grams. Yes. Close your mic. Yes. Close your mic. It's a close my mic. Yes, in Khaled? Yes. Make us a question, please. How much fiber do children need a and day? Yes, it is not mentioned in the ticket. You have to search it in Google. Did you find the answer? It is not mentioned in the ticket. Do you know the answer? Just simply, no. yes or no. Okay. It is, it is not your problem because it is not mentioned. It is 14 grams. It is not in the list. Thank you, Yassim Khalid. Ibrahim Az. Ibrahim Az. Yeah. yeah. How, how much vitamin C do children need a day? Do you know the answer? Is not mentioned in the lesson. Do you know how much vitamin C do you need every day? It's okay if you don't know. It's okay because because it is not mentioned. It is just in the, it is not in the lesson. If you know the answer, tell us. If you don't know, I will tell you. Um. Yes, it seems that you don't know. It's okay. Students, you need about one gram. Not, not exactly, just about. About one gram of vitamin C. I think this is the end of our lesson. See you after five minutes.